Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday. We're coming at you with that right there. 2019 Topps Chrome Update Baseball. This is Mega Edition. These are the retail editions which are right next to me over here. There you go. Not every box has a hit, but if you do find a hit, should be should be pretty nice. So we've got 24, five rows of four right here. One, two, three, four, five. Five rows of four, 20 boxes. So you can see that random team two is pretty close to filling up. We're doing random team number one at the moment right now. Now there was an early bird special. The first 16, let me double check that. It's for 16, right? I think it changes sometimes. Yeah, first 16. There's one through 16 right here. You are the early birds. You have a shot at an extra spot in this break. That's not so bad. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a two, six times. Name on top gets the extra spot. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. And it's Brian Crouch, the early bird, after six times, who has caught the worm. The worm being the, uh, the bonus spot, of course, the delicious, delicious early spot. It's a delicious worm right there. There you go. There are the teams right here. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a five, eight times. And we'll put all those names in the team list tab right there. Once again, three and a five, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Jared all the way down to Brian. Once again, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the Philadelphia Phillies all the way down to the San Diego Padres. San Diego. I've heard of some guys on the Padres there, on the San Diego Padres. Jared with the Phillies, Josh with the Blue Jays, uh, Brian with the Astros, John with the Mets, Edwin with the Yankees, Teddy with the Reds, Thomas with the Marlins, Logan with the Rays, Dwayne with the White Sox, Jason with the O's, Scott with the Rockies, Landon with the Giants, Jason with the Indians, Dennis with the Red Sox, Tony with the Brew Crew, Philip with the A's, Brian, your early bird spot, the uh, champions, the Nationals. Jared with the Royals, John with the Angels, Rick with the Twins, Dennis with the Diamondbacks, Dwayne, Mariners and Cubs, Bradley with the Braves, Dennis with the Rangers, Darren with the Tigers, Edwin with my Dodgers, Dennis with the Pirates, Marty with the Cardinals, and Brian Crouch, San Diego Padres. Let's alphabetize this by team. And we'll give everyone a few moments to kind of digest what teams they got and trade. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. Welcome back, everybody. There was some trade chatter, but at the end of the day, there were no trades that got done. So that list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Good luck to everybody. Put this right here. So we'll just grab just a box at a time from my card back here. and. Let's pop these open. Let's see what we got. Good luck. You know what? Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to open up all the, like a row of boxes and stack some of those packs on top of each other. What's the latest baseball news, everybody? Any baseball news happening? Did the Phillies hire a coach? Did I see that this morning? I know there's been a lot of coaching vacancies. Have they all been filled up? Angels got Joe Madden. Mets got Carlos Beltran. Cubs got... Cubs got David Ross. Girardi went somewhere, right? All right, 
Rebels baseball news is that the Diamondback uniforms are sick. They come out with new uniforms. They have, I feel like they have like 50 different uniforms. They're like a soccer team in like Europe, where they where they have a they have a new kit every year. Yeah, Dave Roberts still, still the Dodgers man. I think he might even get extended too. Braves re-signed Darren O'Day. I'm looking at MLBTradeRumors.com. That's the exciting news there. Cardinals negotiating new deal with Adam Wainwright. J.D. Martinez not opting out of his Red Sox contract. Angels declined Cole Calhoun's contract. Ooh, MLB Trade Rumors has their free agent prediction contest. They didn't do it last year. I'm glad they're bringing it back this year. Looks like Cardinals have extended the front office and coaching staff. Ten players receiving qualifying offers. Phillies announced flurry of roster moves. Flurry of roster moves happening, apparently. Braves GM being a... Uh, Investigated for some comments, collusion, colluding comments, maybe. Potter's name Larry Rothschild as pitching coach. So there's some things happening. Francisco Lindor to the Dodgers. I wouldn't mind that. I don't know. Is that so? Are the Dodgers saying they're not sold on Corey Seager? I think the Dodgers' concerns are more in the 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 pitching department. I think they need to shore up the front of that rotation. And the bullpen, of course. And Kenley Jansen no longer automatic. He's getting a little bit older too. So they got they got to work on that as well. Oh no, camera! What happened here? The camera died for a second. I think I actually turned it off. Adjust the. Let's correct the color here a little bit. There you go. Something like that. It's a live show. It happens. All right. Good luck, everybody. So we'll save cards like that. I think does every what 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 ships in this. Looks like the second one is sold out too. Yeah, all cards ship in this. So, because I know that these are, that a lot of these cards can be pretty, you know, like that Guerrero Jr. I think I missed a Jimenez there too. You know, some of the rookies here can, can carry some pretty solid value on the secondary market. The autographs here are going to be pretty few and far between. So, I wouldn't get into this expecting that, but. I think the value really is in all of these, the rookie cards and everything. So let's see that Keston here is maybe uh, I'd entertain a Mookie Betts trade. I think I'd be a little more interested in Mookie Betts instead of a uh, instead of a uh, Francisco Lindor.
But I think the starting pitching is really where the Dodgers need to need to focus, in my opinion. Hi Logan, uh, you got you got the Tampa Bay Rays. Hyunjin Ru needs to lose some weight. I think the weight is what makes him is what makes him what he is. You can tell David Wells to lose weight. No, you can tell Bartolo Colon to lose weight. No, that's where you, that's where the, that's where the power is generated, Demon. That's the beauty of baseball. I think the Dodgers re-signed Hyunjin Ryu. I think so. I know he's a Scott Boris client, but. I, he's probably I mean, LA's he's been here for ages the Dodgers know his uh, Dodgers know his his kind of medical stuff his injury history and I think has a better idea on how to how to manage his workload whenever he needs to so I want to say that maybe he stays here Maybe the Dodgers will give him, may not give him the, the dollar figure, but they may give him the years that other teams who are concerned about his injury history may not, you know. So I'm hoping that's where the Dodgers will be able to get Hyunjin Ryu back. Maybe on a, on a longer term contract, but possibly shorter years. But if you're Hyunjin Ryu... X five box right here. If you're Hyunjin Ryu, though, I, I would imagine that that this is he's thirty something, almost thirty something, right? And I know he's he's been on the shelf for for a number of years, so I guess he's not as as old as you could. I, I guess you would say he is, but but this might be his last chance on getting like a big contract. So if he's like, hey, I want that big contract, I want to I want to cash out. Which he's more than entitled to for his services, then maybe he does that, you know. Yeah, he's 32, right? So no one's giving him a. Who's giving him a. Who's giving him like a five year deal, five, seven year deal? I don't think anyone's gonna do that, right? I think he's looking at more three or four year deals. Maybe with higher dollar values, but maybe the Dodgers can try to lure him with a, a fifth year or something like that. According to MLBTradeRumors.com, the biggest free agent on the market, Garrett Cole. Where does everyone think Garrett Cole goes to? The This website here is one of my favorites, especially during the offseason. They think Angels. Eight years, $256 million. Yeah, exactly, Demon. He's got Koreatown here. He seems comfortable in LA. No reason for Hyunjin Ryu to go anywhere. But he's a Scott Boris client, though. I don't think he's gonna. He's, I don't think his agent's gonna be willing. Gonna be willing to take a discount, though. Good Cole Angels. Angels definitely need the starting pitching. I think. I, I mean, everyone could use a Garrett Cole. 
at the top of their rotation, right? I think the Dodgers might kick the tires on Garrett Cole. They should. He went to UCLA from Orange County. I'd love to see love to see him at the top of the rotation. And Walker Bueller right there. Julio Urias possibly. Clayton Kershaw. And Julio Urias, Kenta Maeda, that's a nice rotation there. Get some bullpen help. Who else could use it? Who else could use a Garrett Cole? Trade Kershaw. He's fine in the regular season. No one's gonna take Kershaw's contract. That'll almost be impossible. It'd be disrespectful to Kershaw to trade him just because he can't pitch in the postseason. Just don't pitch him in the postseason. <laughs> hey Chris, what's going on? No worry, yeah, that Acuna was nice. I might be able to do another one of those tonight. But if you can pop a Garrett Cole at the top of that Dodgers rotation. Twins, right here, here are the Twins, right? Twins could use some starting pitching. Brewers could use some starting pitching. I'm talking like kind of near near playoff teams or playoff teams that could use them. You know? Now, no one's going to take... Well, Kershaw gets paid way too much for him to get traded. That's... I could almost guarantee you that's never going to happen. Unless someone wants to eat his entire contract. But any kind of trade would require the Dodgers to take... to eat money. And there's no way I'm eating money and sending Kershaw away. That's just crazy talk. What are you going to get back for an aging pitcher anyway? Not not everyday players. Draft picks who may not end up to be anything. Minor leaguers. No, it's just not going to happen. How much do you think that home run ultimate book would go for? What, from luminaries? I don't know. Probably $50,000. Hundred thousand dollars, maybe. Pete Alonzo. Well, I think the easy, easy thing to do with Kershaw, Demon, just don't play him in the playoffs. Don't roll him out there in critical situations. Definitely not out of the bullpen. Shot right there, Vitro. Fins up. You need a prayer for flaws. You bought nuggets in the both first two cases, but there's no Michael Porter Jr. What autographs? It's kind of surprising. You would think they would throw them in there. But yeah, that'll make his gem cards more valuable. I'm sure we accounted for that in the price of the nuggets too. And remember, folks, um, all cards ship in this, so if you see me miss like a, a short print or something like that, don't worry. Everything ships, so you'll get everything you see fly across your screen, like that Tatis Jr., like those Alonzos. Oh, an autograph. These are pretty rare. Remember, these are mega editions, so these are retail editions. So the autos are few and far between, but here's a Luke Voigt for Edwin and the Yankees.
next five. According to MLBTradeRumors.com, next next big free agent would be Anthony Rendon. I think he'll. MLBTradeRumors.com is suggesting that he'll go back to the Nationals. I think he will go back to the Nationals. Uh, for what, Stephen Molina? Where would one go to see what the possible hits are in a box? I think in general, you should bookmark uh, CardboardConnection.com and GroupBreakChecklist.com. GroupBreakChecklist.com is, is what we use most often for checklists, and they organize them all by team. So you can go straight to the team that you're looking for, whatever team you get randomized in a break, whatever the case may be, for those. So that's, that's where you can see what's available for pretty much every product that we do on the website here, jaspiescasebreaks.com. All right, next five. We've got another five to do, and then we'll be uh, doing a couple flawlesses, and I think another one of these uh, breaks, these 20 box uh, update Mega Box Edition breaks have sold out, so we'll do another one of those, um, and then we don't have any more after that. And I'm sure we'll probably do some more flawless tonight. Maybe we'll probably maybe squeeze in that one of the mixers or both. Got a baseball mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com, a football mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Both of those tonight, and still have time to squeeze in some more flawless hoops as well, which just dropped today. Jazz on jazbeescasebreaks.com, brand new release. Anthony Rendon back to the Nationals, right? Steven Strasburg, I think he also probably goes back to the Nationals. I don't see him going anywhere. Zach Wheeler is your number four, top three, four. Fourth top free agent, fourth best free agent, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, however you want to say that. They're thinking Phillies. Zach Wheeler's pretty solid, right? Maybe, uh, I feel like injuries has, has derailed him a little bit here. Josh Donaldson, where does Josh Donaldson go? I think he had a bit of a revival this past year. I think he's going to be looking to get. I think he'll be looking to get a multi-year deal. This might be the this might be the last big multi-year deal he'll get. I don't think he's going to take one-year deals anymore. I'm going to try to get one more big deal to close out his career. Maybe. MLBTradeRumors.com thinking Rangers, three years, $75 million. That could be interesting. I'm going to pop in the DH spot right there. You know, you want to put butts in seats in the new ballpark. Oh, was a qualifying offer made to Zach Wheeler? Ah, I see. Interesting. So if someone signs him, they're giving up. Picks. But there are teams that are desperate for pitching, Sean. They might they might make that sacrifice. All right. Next set of boxes. Good luck, everybody.
There's Josh Allen. We were just talking about him. Pete Alonzo, probably your preemptive NL Rookie of the Year. Kettle Marte to 99. Had a really excellent season for the Diamondbacks this past year. And another autograph, J.D. Hammer. Drop the hammer, J.D. That's for the Phillies. Jared with the Fightin' Phils. One of the rare autographs out of this mega edition. It's a retail edition. There you go. All right, let me sleeve these up and we'll do the last five boxes. Yeah, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Jared. Sean's thinking with the recent off season and a looming strike, I think it's going to be a slow crawl to the end of free agency. Yeah, I think that's the kind of the the uh, sort of I don't know. I'm trying to think of the right word. Just sort of the 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 dark cloud that is looming on the horizon that nobody wants to talk about is the fact that that owners and players seem to be pretty far apart on um, on a collective bargaining agreement. And so there could be a strike looming in the next, you know, whenever, when, whenever it ends, a couple of years, I think. So that, that's on the horizon. Everyone's hoping that a deal gets done, but you can see where that's why uh, the Braves GM, Alex Anthopoulos, I think is his name, is, uh, is getting investigated for, for whatever his comments were um, because... Uh, Uh, because I think everyone's very sensitive about collusion and whatnot. No, Jason, that's not going to break for probably another hour. We still have to do finish this one. Then we got a couple flawless basketball breaks to do. Then I got to go through some orders. Then, um, then yeah. So we're kind of we're kind of booked up a little bit, but we'll eventually get to that next mega break. Yeah, that's kind of something to to be a little concerned about baseball and I was hoping for a little, a little more brisk free agent window here but no 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 just a couple autographs Jason Bell for this mega edition you were not really looking for hits that's not really the the primary thing, you're not going to, this is a retail box, you're not going to really expect too many hits out of here, but a lot of, a uh, lot of rookie cards of like Keston Hira and Carter Kibu, Nick Senzel, Fernando Tatis Jr., Vlad Jr., etc., etc., you know, that's what we're, that's what we're really looking for. But there are a couple parallels, but really nothing, nothing beyond that. Nice, Cooper. Yeah, I might, might throw some more of that on later. Yeah, a little jazz is our pre, is our pre-show kind of kind of thing. Madison Bumgarner is a free agent. MLB trade rumors thinking twins for four years. Yasmani Grandal a free agent. Maybe they're they're thinking Reds. Nick Castellanos a free agent. Hyunjin Ru a free agent. MLB trade rumors.com thinking Rangers for three years. Interesting. I'm not sure. 
sure if you would. I'm not sure if you would go to the. Would you go to the ranges. Oh, we got a nice new ballpark. It's probably a lot cooler out there. Jake Odorizzi, Marcelo Zuna is a free agent. That's interesting. He's got he's got a ceiling, right? He's got a high ceiling. But he could still he still has a chance to hit. Didi Gregorius, free agent. Didi should stay should try to I mean the Yanks should try to re-sign Didi Gregorius. I feel like he has so much value with that, I think that short right field port. If you look at his home run numbers, I'm pretty sure they're almost all at home. And all to this right field, and I think it's, I think he should be. And your Dodgers should try to get Will Smith, reliever Will Smith. So then Will Smith could throw to catcher Will Smith. That'd be great. And reliever Will Smith is pretty, Pretty solid middle reliever. Dodgers could use something like that. Mookie bets to the Reds. Reds got... It's actually not as crazy as you think, Jason, though. If the Red Sox are committed to maybe kind of hitting the reset button, maybe trying to get a little bit younger, add some more prospects to that team. You know? Yeah, the Red, Reds, Reds have some... Reds have some prospects. I mean, but you'd have to give up Guys like Nick Senzel, I think. Are you willing to do that? You gotta trade him first before you can pay him. Trade for him before you can pay for him. All right, last set of five. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, guys like this are gonna have to go if you want to get Moogie bets. Jason says, "Sure, as long as it gets us a World Series tie, I don't care who they trade." I don't think Moogie bets can do it by himself, though. Now, if Moogie bets could could hit a few times an inning and maybe uh, maybe get some quality starts behind Luis Castillo if he can pitch too that'd be pretty good there's Jalen Beeks Logan and the Rays nice but it's true though that the Reds do have you know, Reds don't strike, never really struck me as like, a, oh, they're a small market team afraid to spend. I think they'll spend the money when, when and if they can. So they might be big players in the free agent market. I mean, it's not like the, uh, I mean, does anybody in the, is anyone going to really run away with the NL Central next year? Yeah, Jason Bell's calling it now. We add the right guys and we'll see us make a deep postseason run even. I mean they've got they've got some young pieces, they've got some payroll. NL Central doesn't really doesn't you know, I don't think anyone's gonna really run away with the NL Central. I don't. I don't think it. I don't think it's crazy. I mean, MLBTradeRumors.com was talking was talking Yasmani Grandal to the Reds and Didi Gregorius to the Reds. I mean, that's that's two big names right there to add to that team. You know, then you add some bullpen pieces here and there. You know, guys like the this start to evolve their game. You know, then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that, that that becomes an interesting team. They're not as far away as people people may think they are. All 
I mean, they won 75 games. They're not not too many games under 500. You know, they've got prospects like, like I don't know how close Hunter Green is, but you've got either prospects to develop in the next year or two or prospects to trade if you wanted to. Hunter Green, Jonathan India, Tyler Stevenson is still in the mix in the organization. Just looking at their the Reds' top 30 prospects. Jose Siri is still up there. So there, there, are, there are some names. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys have a good farm system that's, that's set up. I'm looking at the depth chart right now. You got Jesse Winker, Nick Senzel. There's Aquino, who was pretty incredible. Joey Votto still, still solid. Luis Castillo, Trevor Bauer. I love Sonny Gray, Desclafani. You know, add an add add a add a starter, add some couple pieces here and there. I like Rysel Iglesias, Robert Stevenson, Lucas Sim. Reds are closer than we think, ladies and gentlemen. And this break is done. It's over faster than you think. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.